School. Oh, pretty good. Um, Nell, did Larry call? No. How about Jack? No. How about Spencer? Nada, nobody called you, honey. Nell, are you sure? I was positive they were gonna call. Why? Because I'm going steady with them. <laughs> Three guys? Now, how can you do that? Nell, this is the 80s. Oh, this is the 80s. This is the 80s. That's all you kids ever say. What are you gonna do in the 90s? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You better not do what I did in the 60s. <laughs> See you later, right now. No, no, not too fast. Where you going? Oh, the fourth grade Dodgers have a game today. No, 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 Joey. Did you do your homework? Oh, we'll do it after the game. No, you'll be too tired. I won't. Really, I won't. Look at now, the team's counting on me. Last game, I got three hits in a row. I'm going to try for four hits this week. Hey, that's great. Maybe you'll break Pete Rose's record. And maybe I'll even get a call from the president. Joey, the president doesn't call fourth graders. Oh, yes, he will if he gets his face in the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> now, can I go? You promised. All right, Joey. Whoa. But wait a minute. You have to promise me that you're going to do your homework as soon as you get home. I promise. Now, I'm not joking, Joey. Homework is important work, too. I mean, look at me. I'm doing my night school homework right now. And if I didn't do my homework, I wouldn't get such good grades in college. Did I show you on my report card? Yes. <laughs> I got an A in sociology, an A in English history, and an A minus in psychology. Well, actually, I should have gotten an A in psychology, but I told Professor Barrett he had a Napoleon complex. <laughs> so he stood on his tippy toes, and he said, A minus. <laughs> no, I gotta go. I'm lead off, man. Go uh, yeah, now I have to get ready for a date. Joey, I'll give you a ride. I'm going down to my natural childbirth class. Thanks, Julie. They're showing a film called The Miracle of Life. You see all the steps of natural childbirth up to and including the birth of the baby. Then they're showing Tootsie. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this is Neil Harper. Uh, what did he do? Well, can't you tell me over the phone? All right, I I'll be there first thing tomorrow afternoon. All right. That was Joey's school counselor. The boy is flunking. The counselor said he was flunking? No, he wouldn't tell me anything, but it has to be bad news. Why? Oh, Grandpapa, they never call you from school with good news. <laughs> I go down to that baseball field, and I'm gonna drag him home and make him do his homework. Don't you do that, Nell. You'll just embarrass Joey in front of all his friends. I won't embarrass him. Oh, yes, you will. Just the way you did with me when you dragged me away from the senior citizens' croquet tournament. <laughs> Look, you were late for Sunday dinner. It was humiliating. Two of my teammates died laughing. <laughs> they did not. They were only in intensive care for a couple of hours. <laughs> Okay, you're right. I'll wait till he gets home, then I'm gonna lock him in his room until he's ready for college. Come in. Hi, I'm Nell Harper. Of course, you're here about Joey. No, wait a minute. Before you say anything, I just want you to know it is not his fault. The boy has problems. The boy has lots of problems. You people have got to be a little more understanding and patient. I mean, did you know that his father, he was a merchant seaman, he was lost at sea somewhere between the China Coast and Brazil? That's awful. Yeah, but they found him uh, alive and healthy. Where? Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but they found the Titanic. That's fascinating. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, but I called you here to tell you that Joey's real problem is that he doesn't belong in the fourth grade. I know it! Look, I... I... I know he shouldn't be playing baseball, and I, I know that he should be at home doing his homework. I take full responsibility. Why don't you keep me out of school? Why don't you punish me? Look, look, I'll, I'll sharpen your pencils. I'll clean off your desk. I'll wash your car. I'll do anything Ms. you take Harper. to watch. No, no, no. You, you don't understand. We have found that Joey is a gifted child. <laughs> Gifted? Yeah. He, he's very intelligent. His intellectual capability is far above the fourth grade level. So you people finally found out, huh? <laughs> I thought I was the only one who knew. <laughs> His sisters still don't know. Well, now the secret's out. Oh, this is gonna kill Addie. <laughs> Her and her five beta kappa kid gonna turn green. <laughs> but of course you do know this is all because of my influence. Wait, 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 did you did you hear about my report card? Let me show it to you. <laughs> I've got an A in sociology, an A in English history, and an A minus in psychology. That's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> but about Joey. We don't have accelerated classes here, so we'd like to test him further to determine what school he'd best fit into. Oh. Well, in the meantime, is there something special I should do for a kid with this kind of brain? A, um, a special diet? A special hat? <laughs> it's important not to push a gifted child too hard. Just treat him the same way you always have. That's very good advice. Thank you. I'll treat him like I always have. Like a normal little nine-year-old. Thank you. I, do you know where I can pick up an application for Harvard? <laughs> Uh-oh, must be bad news. You know, they never call you from school with good news. Mr. Garlotti? Mr. Garlotti, please. <laughs> it's hard to concentrate with all that noise. I know. So would you mind talking in the other room? <laughs> I'll get it. Thanks. Nick, get the drums from me. Get the drums. <laughs> For. They're for my gifted child, honey. Who's a gifted child? Joey. Mr. Delata, can you tune a trombone? I don't know. I never tried. Oh, come on. Give me a C. A C? Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, forget it. Never mind. I'm sure Joey can do this. I just know he has perfect pitch. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm finished, Miss Harper. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yeah. Galati. And listen, when Joey gives his first concert at Carnegie Hall, there'll be two tickets for you at the box office. Yeah. Now, how much do I owe you? Uh, send me a check for $35. $35? That's what I said. Your two seats would be in the lobby, honey. <laughs> so they called you from the school to tell you Joey is a gifted child? Oh, Addie, as soon as I found out he was gifted, I went out and I rented all these instruments. Then I called Mr. Galata to come tune the piano. I really can't wait to see which one of these he's a genius in. Now I'm going to the library. I don't want to be around the first time a gifted nine-year-old tries to play a trombone. <laughs> Poor Julie. She's insanely jealous. <laughs> Up until a few minutes ago, she was the smartest kid in the family. Now, don't you think you're getting a bit carried away? What would you know about this? I was a gifted child, too. Oh, please. Addie, 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 Addie. It does not mean you were gifted simply because when you were a little girl, boys gave you presents to go into the garage with them. <laughs> I was, too, a gifted child. I have a Phi Beta Kappa key. Oh, Addie, I have to level with you. Honey, I've always thought you got that key off a dead professor. <laughs> Oh, Nell. Look, what I'm trying to say is, Joey is the same person today as he was yesterday. I know that. 
It's just the people at the school just found out how brilliant he is. Look, his counselor is going to get him transferred to a school for special classes. And I am personally going to take care of his musical education. Thank you. Now, um, I don't think you should be too disappointed if Joey doesn't pick up one of these instruments right away. Oh, Addie, come on. I saw Amadeus. <laughs> Mozart started to play when he was four years old. Joey is nine. If those people had been on the ball at his school five years ago getting the test, he would have a movie out about his life. Huh? <laughs> but Mozart was a genius. You are so negative. Mozart, Joey, it's the same thing. What's the big difference? <laughs> you know what? What? You make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. Look, I got something to tell you. Some good news. Joey, that's wonderful. Yeah, I even hung around the payphone, but the president didn't call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's even a gifted comedian. <laughs> Sit down, baby. I got something to tell you. Joey, I got a call from your counselor. Okay, give me the bad news. No, honey, there, there's no bad news. Aunt Mel, they never call you from school with good news. <laughs> Joey, what I have to tell you is gonna make you so happy. Your counselor says that you, Joey Donovan, you are a gifted child. They heard about my two homers already, eh? <laughs> no. No, honey, you see, being gifted means that you can do all sort of wonderful things. Really? Like what? Well, let's see. You can um, help mankind by discovering the cure for the common cold, or you can become a world leader, or you can become the, the greatest trombone player in the world, or you can now, do what? Don't you think you're pushing a little too hard? Get your own gifted child. <laughs> Congratulations on your two homers, Joey. And remember, Nell, Mozart died at 34. To this day, they blame his mama. <laughs> Aunt Nell? Yeah? Does being gifted mean I could be the greatest baseball player ever? Oh, no, no, honey. Gifted people don't play baseball. What? I've got to play baseball. No, honey, no. You might get hit in the head by pitch ball. You got to protect that wonderful brain of yours and think about your hands. You could hurt one of your fingers and you would never be able to play violin again. I can't play now. <laughs> you will, honey. You'll see. You'll be the next Isaac Stern. I'd rather be Pedro Guerrero. Now, hold on, Joey. I'm not going to let you play in some Latin band. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, Joey. Why don't you run upstairs and do your homework, and then we'll start on your musical education tomorrow, OK? Yeah, but I have batting practice. Joey, come here. It's not everyone who's blessed with your intelligence, OK? Now, come on. You have a responsibility to your brain. Now, run along and think. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Here, baby. Yeah, now, I don't have time for this now. Only for batting practice. You know, the man in the music store put rosin on the bow. Now, remember, always put rosin on the bow. There. You just put rosin on their fingers. It helps them throw a better curveball. <laughs> You know, honey, last night I had this dream where we were giving a command performance for the Queen of England. Um, you were on stage, and I was in the royal box. Anyway, <laughs> the Queen turned to me and she said, Girl, <laughs> where did you get that dress from? <laughs> and then she said, Your little boy is going to be the next Isaac Perlman. <laughs> Who's he? Oh, honey, he's just the greatest violinist in the world. Hey. Here, come on, what you hold still. Come on, hold still, okay? 
Aunt Mel? Oh. Hmm? Why didn't you ever take a picture of me in my baseball uniform? Oh, come on, Joey. This is important. I'm going to send this picture along with your application to Juilliard. <gasps> oh, honey, I just know they're going to melt when they see it. Huh. Come on, honey, play for me. Go ahead, play. Come on, just try it. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you go over to the piano? Because I, I know the, the piano is your instrument. Go on over there. Go ahead. This is a miracle. <laughs> the boy has never played piano before. He sits down and plays the queen's favorite song. This is obviously a sign, right? Now, now I taught Joey that song. So, uh, please. Samantha, please leave him alone. Samantha, he can play it by himself. No, he can't. I haven't taught him the melody yet. He only knows the bottom part. Besides, give him a chance. Remember, Rome was not built in a day. It would have been if the architect had been a gifted child like Joey. <laughs> Joey, next year, I'll have you remodel the house. <laughs> Baby, don't play. Honey. I want you to go upstairs and get your sweater so you can go take your placement test, okay? No, no I don't want to take that test. Joey, if you don't take the test, how, how are they going to know which grade to put you in? What's wrong with fourth grade? All my friends are there. All of your friends have nine-year-old brains. <laughs> now, if you put me in a different school, I won't be able to play baseball with my team anymore. Joey, look. At the new school, there are lots of teams you can be on. You can be on the chess team. You can be on the algebra team. You can be on the spelling team. Aunt Nell, I already know how to spell. Joey, we're not talking C-A-T here, OK? <laughs> we're talking four syllables where the grand prize is a $1,000 scholarship. Aunt Nell, I heard that Pedro Guerrero signed a five-year contract for a million dollars a year. No trade for five years in an injury clause. Oh, yeah? And just where will Mr. Guerrero be in 10 years, huh? Wherever he is, he'll have a lot of money with him. <laughs> Look, don't get smart on me, OK? Now get out of here and go get your sweater. Come on, go. Ready, Joey? Now don't be late for batting practice. I told you, he is not going. Go get your sweater, boy. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, get my dumb sweater. <laughs> Temperamental changes. <laughs> Nell, you're not still insisting that Joey take that placement test, are you? I well, certainly am. I know the brilliant mind like his is no telling which grade they're putting in. Oh, I imagine he'll go straight from fourth grade into Yale. <laughs> no, I was thinking more like Harvard. Well, you know, there'll be a lot of high-paying jobs waiting for a nine-year-old college graduate. <laughs> Grandpapa, don't you want Joey to live up to his potential? Oh, I suppose I do, Nell, but... I think it's always more important to the mother than to the kid. I guess I'm ready, Aunt Nell. Hey, wait. Just, just wait. You're not doing this for me. I'm doing it for you, OK? If it was up to me, you could stay in the fourth grade for the rest of your life. I really don't care. Great, then I won't take the test. No, wait. <laughs> what I am trying to... I'm trying to tell you, honey, is that I'm doing this for your sake. This is for your sake. You are changing schools for your sake. You are taking this test for your sake. You are getting a baseball for your sake. What happens if I don't take the test? Then I'll kill you for your sake. <laughs> Joey, please, go down to the school, take the test, and don't be late, OK? No. Oh, keep quiet. I got two A's and an A minus. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> he didn't take the test. They haven't seen him. Excuse me, Kim. Have you seen Joey Donovan? Joey Donovan? I don't know who he is. He's a gifted child. If you were gifted, you would have known that. No, you push the boy too far. You have only yourself to blame. Oh, please, Addie. I take it back. I've known you long enough to know you can always find somebody else to blame. Why don't we just call the house oh, again? Oh, don't bother. I already did that. He's not there either. And what am I going to do? 
why don't we just go to the police? That's a good idea. Told you I was gifted. <laughs> well, Gee, Nell, what makes you think Joey's missing? Look, he was supposed to take some tests down at the school. He never did show up. No one ever saw him. You, you do know he's a gifted child, right? He is? Oh, yes. Yeah, all my influence, too. Show him your report card. Oh, okay. <laughs> you showed it to me, Nell. Hey, <laughs> babe. I got a job here. I want you to go find Joey Donovan. You know who he is? Sure, I know him. Donovan, Joey. Four feet, five inches tall, nine years old, blonde. And gifted. Got it. You know, my mother thought I was a gifted child. <laughs> That's interesting, Simpson. Yeah. Well, should you be calling the FBI? She was determined that I should tickle the ivories, so she brung in a piano teacher. I didn't know you played the piano. I don't. After six lessons, my teacher said, what a shame all them elephants had to lay down their lives. <laughs> Simpson, please. Of course, my mother didn't listen to the piano teacher. She didn't listen to nobody. She made me practice every afternoon. All I wanted to do was play basketball. Basketball was my game. See, I was about a foot taller than all them little shrimps in my class. Simpson! Don't worry, Nell. Officer Murphy is an expert on runaways. Who said anything about Joey being a runaway? I ran away. They found me in the gym, crying. I didn't make the basketball team. All them little shrimps were so fierce. <laughs> I think I know what Joey is. Why didn't you take that test? I tried, Aunt Mill. I really did. Joey Donovan, I don't want to hear it. Just tell me why you didn't take that test. Because they're going to move me up in the fifth grade. I'll be going to classes all the time, and I'll never be able to play with my home team again. That's why. You know what? You don't always know what's best for you. Aunt Nell, if you move me up, I'll be with a bunch of big guys in the fifth grade. I'm not a fifth grader, Aunt Nell. Look at me. I'm a fourth grader. Joey, look, when you grow up, I would hate for you to look back at this time and hate me because I didn't make you take the test. You got two E's and an A minus, and I didn't force you to change schools. Hey, look, I'm not gifted. That's why I only got an A minus. Yeah, but it won't be any fun going to that other school. Well, there's the big deal, kid. You can always have fun when you're grown. I want to have fun now. Joey, you're gifted. But I'm only nine years old, Aunt Nell. Nine? I remember nine. That's a good year for having fun. <sighs> guess you could use some practice on your batting. You mean I don't have to take the test? Yeah. No, you don't have to take the test. But of course, that, that means that when you get home, you're gonna have to take a piano lesson from me. And now... Look, I, I didn't say violin or trombone, did I? Come on, kid. 